Alright, uh, this is just going to be a quick video on uh, how to install uh, Toho with the vSync patch in English translation. Um, after a uh, specific website has gone down, um, obviously people are now looking on a way to do this. So, <coughs> first thing you're going to do is download your games. Um, most obvious choice is Steam, uh, and it's pretty simple. You just click install. Uh, once you have those installed on Steam, wherever, um, you're gonna you can find them in the path I just took. So, Windows, Proof Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then there they'll be. You see, I have four of them installed. You can leave them in here or drag them wherever you want. I prefer them to be elsewhere. So, um, yeah, I'll bring them here. And uh, I'll actually make a new folder for them. And put these in here. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do um, when you're playing them, obviously, or to install everything, is get your vSync patches installed. Um, so you can install vSync patch over here. Just search up Toho vSync patch. Uh, click this link here and uh, control up down the vsync patches and just hit this download link here uh, i'll link in the description to uh this the wiki here okay so after we install that and extract it what we're going to do is we're going to find exactly uh which which um i guess where the vsync is so for toho for these games here 10 11 16 17 you're going to find the deal though so in this one region 7 however if uh you get you somehow get your hands on uh, toho 7 and 8 through obviously legitimate sources uh you're gonna have to use this revision for patches um so if you install them the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to get the correct patch so it'll be THO7 for Toho 7, obviously. The VPatch EXE and VPatch INI. You just copy and paste them into wherever you want. After that, um, you're going to go into VPatch.INI and where it says enable, change that to 1. I'm going to save and close it. And you're going to do this for all of your games, uh, which I'm going to do right now. Toho 8. And we just, yeah. Change it to one. Um, now, vSync patch doesn't actually exist on Toho 16 and above, and I don't believe it exists for Toho 14 either. Um, so, yeah, if you're playing those, uh, you, you can't use vSync. Wait, did I? Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna change this to. And last one. So we paste it in here. And I'm going to rename, oh shoot, set this enable to one. Okay, so now we have vSync in all of them. Uh, we're still going to try and get the English patch, uh, which you can get by searching up thcrap. And it's this first link here. Just gonna click on this button right here, and it'll download uh, a zip. So uh, you're just gonna get this. Uh, you're gonna get them, and you can just put the folder wherever. I prefer to have it with my games, so I'm gonna put it there. And you're gonna open it, and we're gonna run thcrap.exe. Uh, welcome. And next. Uh, you pick whichever patch you want. I prefer the English patch. Uh, you take whatever you want. And th what? The, and now we've got to find the games. You obviously want to find them in a specific folder because these are slow and this might not work. Um, so, yeah, you just navigate over to wherever you put the folder. And it's this folder. And it'll detect all these. Click Next. And create the shortcuts wherever. So these are the shortcuts that are going to launch the games with um, with English patch. Um, so I'm just going to put it in the games folder. And now it is going to launch. I know there's already tutorials for this, but I saw some people complaining about how hard it is, and I'm just here to show you it isn't hard. 
um, yeah, so one more thing we have to do is we have to go to the chat config in games.js. You're going to right click on it. You're going to click on it once, right click, click edit. And for me, it opens with notepad, but I believe you'll have to open with notepad. And you're just going to make sure where it says th blank and the game. Just make sure that it's set to vpatch.exe. If it's not, then just change it for all of them. You can leave this, it's fine. This is this the settings folder. This is just the settings for uh, vpatch. So, um, yeah, there you go. As you can see, uh, you're going to see it pop up in like, the top left, and I don't feel like editing the video. But this patch here, where it says th10en, this is the English patch with vsync enabled. Um, so yeah, I'll play full screen and yes, you can see it still this is the same community and when that will go away, we can look back at the FPS. We can see it has a stable 60 FPS and it is indeed in English. Um, yeah, this will work for TH10. In any of them. However, you might have noticed something if you try and run subterranean animism. It just won't run. You see, it, it just closed itself. And there's, I don't know if any other games are like this, but there's a slight issue with this game's DRM. Um, if we run vpatch.exe by itself, okay, well, it's not there, so it's not going to run, obviously. But if we run th10, uh, it's not going to run, and that's because there's a bit of issues with this game's DRM. So we're going to go to this specific website here. You can search this uh, Steamless, and we're going to click on this GitHub link and scroll down to where it says Releases, and just download this right here and extract it. So what this is going to do is it's going to remove the DRM from the game. Um, so we can go have it here. I just have it in this folder, you can run steamless.exe. And we're just going to navigate over to uh, this e the exe right here. Now make sure you pick the actual application and not the shortcut thgrep creates. To open it, uh, just keep everything in default and unpack the file. Um, so once it says successfully unpacked, we just close this. And you'll see it created this here, which is a smaller file. We're going to delete the original file. And we're going to rename this one just back to th11.exe. And now, it's, we're going to get this. It's an Arcanized game version, but it'll work fine, trust me. Click yes, and look, now we have Subterraneanism working on vsync patch. And it's also in English. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. How to install the English patches and everything. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.